Hey guys, it's Dave from Mountaintop Living here. This might be the last one. I'm not really sure. Spring's around the corner and uh, daylight savings is coming right up. But Mother Nature doesn't care. It's snowing. We got about five or six inches of heavy wet snow. So we're out here. Uh, happens to be after after work one day. So uh, we're, we're, we're taking care of this in the dark. And uh, hopefully you guys still enjoy the video, and uh, we'll get this thing wrapped up. So this is the first time I've used this at night, and uh, the lights work really great. I can see a long ways. I was a little concerned about that, uh, not knowing how bright the, the lights were going to be, but uh, I really uh, have no trouble at all. It's, it's great. This is uh, really heavy, wet stuff tonight. 
and uh, I'm leaving a few trails here. I'll have to come back and clean it up. But uh, it's, it's sure beats doing it by uh, walk behind snowblower. Had a little crazy weather here lately. We had uh, 60 degree weather two days ago, and now we're at 28. Some crazy storm in the forecast for the weekend, so we'll just gotta wait a few days and see how that plays out. Ordinarily, I wait till the storm's over, but I don't know. Decided to get out here and do it tonight. As you can see, they haven't even plowed the road yet. Just one, one quick pass down so I could get into my own driveway, which is nice of them. We are the last people on the road, so... Try not to hit the beehives over there. So that's my wood supply that I have left. I still got quite a bit. I'm looking to get a load of uh, log night firewood here pretty soon. Uh, but before I do that, you'll see off to the left of this uh, log splitter. I started clearing some uh, some trees out of there. And uh, if you've noticed from my previous videos, I've got a lot of uh, a lot of hillside. So I got a I gotta make more flat ground. Uh, before I can get a load of logs, that's what I gotta do, make flat ground. So we're gonna get a few trioxal loads of uh, fill that'll come in here. And if you do burn with wood or you process it yourself. I'm no expert, but man, the prices of everything are only going up from here, so you want to get it as soon as you can. So that's the area I'm talking about. We're going to take down a few more trees and uh, we're going to have to fill all that in. Probably hard to tell on camera, but there's uh, easily a five or six foot drop from where I'm sitting. Uh, and it's uh, all these little knolls down in there. So uh, I don't think it's going to take a whole lot of fill to bring it in, uh, but probably four or five truckloads. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, we got the driveway cleaned up one more time. And, uh, you know, with any luck, it'll be close to the last time. I really enjoy using this machine to clean up the driveway. Uh, but I've got a short list of uh, other attachments I'd like to get, and uh, uh, I kind of want your opinion. I've got a snowblower and a bucket for this right now. Um, and this cab is considered an, uh, 
not necessarily an attachment, but it's definitely an accessory because you could have gotten this same tractor in an open cab station. So uh, let me know in the comments down below what you could, you think that uh, would be the next best thing to, to get for an attachment. Uh, I'm interested to see what you have to say. Thanks for joining me, guys. Appreciate you sticking around.